Hello and welcome to the final Korra vlog and most likely the most viewed one that we're going to do. Um, two very important people, I think, came out and confessed their love. Um, Mako and Bolin in the middle of that machine finally said they love each other. I know, I mean, I thought that was really amazing and it's like, it's, if only there was like two. You know, and I gotta say, episode. Korra and Asami, BFFs forever. That I know, that, I, I thought that was very encouraging. Yeah, I mean, that's I, just... Yeah. Well, friends do that all the time, right? They just take a little vacay yeah. together and... Uh, you I don't know, know what the big deal is. I hold hands with you all the time. All the time? I just assumed they were friends. We skip. We actually yeah. skip together. And nobody gives us weird looks at all. Well, because we don't do that in public, but... You know. No, but, but inside, which is even more normal. In the privacy <laughs> of our own home, where we come to play with our toys. <laughs> Now that's gonna take a whole new me. <laughs> so, okay, so you know, like, most of this vlog is just gonna be talking about, like, half a minute of the episode. So, well, let's just go over the quick overview of, um, uh, of it in general. Uh, I mean, honestly, this is... This is a good finale. It, it, especially the first half, it's pretty much just all taking down this giant robot. Uh, which is so... I, I keep thinking of Kentucky Fried Movie now. Giant, Giant Robots! <laughs> it, Giant Robots? Which, you know, on the one hand, I'm thinking, like, season two was kind of like, you have big things battling each other, but I like the idea they're still small, they're trying to get inside this thing. It is very anime, I mean, like, the mechas and stuff like that. I mean, it, it's very big O-ish oh, yeah. and stuff like I, that. I, I kept joking, are they going to build, like, I kept thinking of Evangelion, I was like, is there going to be a new Republic City 3 or something, <laughs> like Tokyo 3? <laughs> so, the, the first half of this is just battling this machine that's wonderfully done. I mean, it just, uh, Kuvera's uh, in there controlling it, it's trying to swat at them like flies and stuff like that. Um, and, uh, people try to make sacrifices. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Go, go. But then that person comes back. You've Prince Wu sings. Stuff. I could have done without that, actually. Uh, that, yeah, I got a little old, but, uh, but he's still doing some good, so whatever. When did he make friends with the Honey Badgers? <laughs> Do Honey Badgers <laughs> yeah, not how... care? Do they just not give a shit? Like, no, how... no, no, it's like, how did he control them to come around the other end? Because moving forward, I can see, because it's like they would want to almost get away Maybe from the Maybe they were trying to but... kill him to stop his singing, and they missed. Maybe, I don't know, but regardless. Uh, so... Uh, uh, Kuvira's destroyed, or, or stopped, I should say, and then Korra, kind of like a dummy when she has her down on the ground. I mean, clearly she'd, like, metal bend some handcuffs or something, and she's like, you know, you've lost Kuvira, and she's like, um, yeah, and knocks her out, goes, gets the gun, she's like, take your out, bitches, and, but Korra But then they wouldn't have been able to create a new spirit portal. Yes, so Korra... Through whatever and come on, magic. One woman with a giant gun that big, let's admit it, that was kind of hot. <laughs> She's just like, it's just the most ridiculous over the top. It's like this this little tiny woman like next to this trigger and this gun's like the size of the Empire State. Well, and and like, then just a little quarter there at the end of it, like just with this guy. It, it was like a Louis Tunes <laughs> cartoon, kind it was, of. It was a Roadrunner cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, Cora uses her powers to I want a Cora to bust out up. a little tiny umbrella and be like, <laughs> uh, so opens up the spirit world, this new spirit portal, um, uh, Julie and, uh, uh, Varric. Do the thing. Yeah, do the thing. Uh, I put that in my Facebook, somebody's like, you know, you need context for that. I was like, I know exactly what I did. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't get it, you don't deserve to get it. Um, and, uh, and so they tie the knot. And at the very end, everything seems to be okay, everyone's cool, and Korra and Asami say they need a vacation, they decide to go to the spirit world, holding hands, looking in each other's eyes, and it ends right there. <laughs> then the little heart closes in on them, it's, it's, it's just so nice. <laughs> um, okay, so for me, there's gotta be two ways to come at this and I usually hate doing that like we have to look at it two ways but there really is in my opinion for this um because on the one hand it's like if I'm right I think this is like the first bisexual character main lead in a kid's show ever I, I don't know if they've okay, done that. They've honest. had side characters. I don't think they were bisexual the whole time. I think Mako turned them. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's be honest here. Mako was so bland. I'm talking so about Korra! That, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, you're talking he turned her. 
Yeah, he. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, Ma Mako Mako turned the two of them. They both dated him. <laughs> that is true. You notice they both dated. This is like George Costanza when his girlfriend becomes lesbian after dating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta wonder what's going through his mind now. Like, wow, I turned wow. two women lesbian. <laughs> Okay, well, I think I need to move out of town and rethink my life for a while. <laughs> I never thought about that. Poor actually. Maka. In the end, it's still all about poor Maka. <laughs> so, all right, so, so on the one hand, yeah, this is a huge step, and I anyone that reads like my Facebook and stuff like that knows I'm very pro-gay rights, and I, I hate the fact and that... And by like, huge step, we mean it's about all you're going to get out of a show on Nickelodeon. <laughs> but the you, fact, the you fact know they that, did it all. You know right? the Japanese are watching this like... Eh? And? <laughs> and what? Where's the tentacles? <laughs> like, like, that's it? And like, we did this shit on Sailor Moon 20 years ago. What are you... <laughs> oh, cute little Americans. <laughs> so, it, it, everyone's talking about it. It's like this huge, huge thing. Like, everyone's like, oh, best finale ever. Unbelievable. Um, and, Except for the people that have a problem with it. <laughs> well, yeah. And see, and... There's a few. No. I've seen the, the occasional comment on my Facebook that's like, Fucking stupid. <laughs> well, no, okay, so... Okay, the, so loud. No, the, the funny thing about it is that, because, like, I mean, well... <sighs> I, I, I'm trying to think what angle to come at it because it, it is a huge step. It is really great, uh, and it's it's wonderful to see this happen. I hate the fact that we live in a time where it's like this is a big deal. Like, oh my god, can you believe a show did that? Well, like Kurt, 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 Moon's Kurt, done this yeah. like twenty, maybe even more years ago. Uh, every year, I see one, at least one lesbian anime. Yeah, and, like, and Sailor Moon. I mean, yeah. right, is a kid normally show set in Japan, high school. Right? Yeah, well, <laughs> like, I was gonna say, and, and Sailor Moon is yeah. a kid show in Japan, right? I mean, isn't it, like like seen kind of like adults can watch it too, but it's seen primarily as like a kid show. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's the I, I don't know. I never watched Sailor Moon mm -hmm. in Japan. The the general feeling I get is that it's a teen show. Uh -huh. Okay, so, so but but definitely for younger audiences and stuff like that. But this is kind of a teen show, I think, even though it's running on Nickelodeon. And there's but, de but there's definitely been like I've heard about like other shows where it's like there's side characters that are like gay or bisexual or something oh, yeah. like that. Uh, but I, I don't. It's I've never seen a, a main character in in a show. I'm definitely they'll, not. They'll a do cousins show. and sisters in Japan. They'll they'll just do anything. No, no, no. I'm talking about like in America. Like oh, oh, in America. Oh no, in America we got all sorts of hangups. So. Yeah. So, but some healthy. I, I think the not doing your sister hang up despite twin cest on Gravity <laughs> Falls is healthy. Uh, you know, some like, anyone that doesn't watch the Gravity Falls vlogs is gonna be like, what the fuck was Rob talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so, Look up Gravity Falls and Twin Cest, you'll find out. Uh, have some Taco Bell with you. Um, but, yeah, okay, so uh, all, all of that is wonderful. All of that, all of that is fantastic. Uh, but at the same time, I'm looking at this, and the first thing that pops in my head is this was, this felt like a gimmick for a good cause. Because outside of a couple conversations that they had, together, which you called. You're like, eh, did they I know, I can't believe Lesbian I called stuff? this at the beginning of season three. No, no, and there's even a time, no, I do remember there's one point where Asami even kind of says, I forget the exact line, but some along the lines of, like, you know, she's kind of coming out a bit, but not directly saying it. But my thought was, well, okay, I mean, it's, that might be something, but I mean, like, I don't think they're going to go all the way with it because they're just, they're not doing it. They're not developing it. They're not going into it. And then at the they end... Can't. Uh, well, it, 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 exactly, that it, is part of it, It really just too. comes just, down to that. We can be like, oh, it's all gimmicky, and then, oh, they just brought out, like, it was only subtle hints that brought out the last second. What, are you going to let the network with the talking sponge, you're going to run it on that? No, well, they're no, not okay, going to freaking let you. Well, and that, that's what I was going to get to. So on the one hand, I'm like, well, this is great that it happens, and we have this main character, but from a storytelling perspective, uh, just imagine for a minute, everything else is the same, everything about these characters, everything happens exactly the same, make Asami a guy. And story-wise, ask yourself if this makes any sense. It's, it's not bad, there's nothing wrong with it, but at the same time, I'm like, where did that come from? But like, this is the last image of the show we ever see. And it's like, oh no, don't you know it was about these two coming together? It, it was? You know, and don't get me wrong, there's definitely like, I want to see more of this. Like, I, if they do, like, what they do with Zuko's mom, was and, it, like, because that was unanswered, and they do it in the comics, was or they it go about into those it. two coming together, the whole series? No. Is it probably the logical last final step? If you want those two to be in love, if you want 
your main character is some if you want your main character to somehow end in love, which is its own great debate. Because now, even though it's a lesbian story, you could argue, like, oh, so now she needs a woman to be happy. It's just like, but, you know, yeah, it, it, that, it that is the only that. logical step left. She's gone through everyone else. Bolin's got, um, what's her face? It's early in the morning. I'm just <laughs> telling you now. Like, we're like the day before. <laughs> to be fair, we have Christmas. always forgotten her name. Yeah. <laughs> that poor Bolton. character. The only reason I even M. remember Asami is because it's all over the internet. It, right it began now. with an M. Um, that person. <laughs> anyway, everybody's got somebody. And and uh, Varric has Mako Julie. doesn't. Unless you count the. <laughs> but that's King. the thing. They went through Mako. Mako's used goods. He's ba he's baggage. <laughs> he's he's like that chewed piece of gum you leave under the seat. So that pretty much leaves only those two. But no, but as I'm, main characters. Okay, but if, no. What if you are of if you are going into this thinking, well, Korra has to be in love with somebody. But but that's. Exa exactly what you said. The so idea makes that she has sense. No, the idea she has to be in love with somebody. It's like I, I I don't care if people are in love with anybody. That's fine. But it's like it seems so out of nowhere and out of the blue. And if this happened middle season or something, that'd be fine. But like you said, and I, I tend to agree with, they probably wouldn't be able to get away with that. So to me, this is no, sort of like they're, they're pigeon uh, they're pigeonholed by the sponge. No, see, see you know, to the me, sponge demands certain things, and lesbian love not doing a lesbian love story. I'm sure was one of them. Like I, I'm sure if they wanted to do a lesbian like Leary from the beginning, we're gonna develop this out, and they're gonna be really truly in love, and you're gonna see all of this. I'm sure the sponge are like no, no, <laughs> and then like beat them to death. So it, you, it, it's like the 1963 haunting. We love that movie. How ridiculous is that movie from a modern perspective? Like, with the fact that the lesbian subtext is so buried mm. to the point that it's like, you know, just come out and say it. Like, but that's the way it worked back in the olden days. No, but that's even movies. that, no, no, now but even that, cartoons. even that is a little, that still works in the context of the story, though, because in my opinion, that still works to, they're in a place, they're scared, and she doesn't know if they're actually hugging together like they're afraid, or she's even coming on to her, and that makes her more, you know, scared because she's not gay. So that just adds another level of awkwardness and uncomfortableness for the main character, who's so already you're pretty crazy. We should have put our main characters in a haunted house. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I, I say it's kind of like like let's say they do the last X Men movie, like and there's Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, whatever. Everything's done, and they defeat everybody. And he looks at Storm and says, "Let's take a vacation together." And she says, "Okay," and they kiss. It's like. There's nothing wrong with it or anything, but it's like, where'd that come from? But there was no reason you couldn't have built that romance up from the beginning. There is here. But that's... Okay, but the that's sponge, what I mean. Doug, the sponge No, no, but you. that's what I mean. Ethically, I think it's a big step. Storytelling-wise, okay, okay, I, I saw it as saying. a gimmick for a okay, good reason. I get what you're saying. And this is because I had the same thing. I, I feel exactly the same way, which is... It, it didn't serve too much for the main plot. There were hints dropped, and bravo them for the hints. I picked up on it. Mm. So, I mean, clearly they had some concept. I'm not convinced they knew season one they were doing this. No, I... I'm convinced that somewhere that. probably in the middle of writing season two, they started to hatch this idea in their head. And I'm sure that they were just like, there's no way Nick's gonna go for this. Are you freaking kidding me? We gotta somehow be subtle and pull this out at the last second before they're just... Force Nick's hand and be like, okay, don't run the finale. See what the fans say then. Well, and the funny thing, too, is like... So... Yeah, with, with the gimmick, it's kind of like all the people that are against it. I just love the idea. Like, yeah, this show's fun. It's cool and everything. And just like, oh, she was bi, bitches! Like, just all of a sudden, yeah, just so, like, you were watching a bi character the whole time, so... Mm. Yeah, so uh, that's the thing. On the one hand, yes, I would have liked to have seen a real lesbian love story. This was a puppy love lesbian love story. Like, oh, it's cute. But, and, and kind of out of answer. nowhere, you yeah. know, like... Uh, okay, not, not totally out of nowhere, because right. they were hints. So that is the actual problem with the story. I agree with you. Outside of not doing it at all, and it seems clear they wanted to do it, what is your other option? You don't have one. Oh, no, I, I, I'm not like, saying I necessarily the, that's do. That's the problem. No, that's honestly, the double-edged sword I, with I'm this. I'm amazed this yeah. happened at, at all. Yeah. And like I said, I hate the fact that I have to be amazed by that, but I'm glad that it did happen. It didn't, like, and like I said, it didn't ruin anything. It's not like, oh, this finale is now... I'm just saying, I no think sense. they have more chemistry than Mako and Korra did to be good. Or yeah. Korra and Asami. And, you know, it is funny. But maybe that, again, is all on Mako. <laughs> 
<laughs> Poor Mako. <laughs> well, and the funny thing is, like, you know, you brought up, like, hey, maybe there's a little something. You were doing it kind of as a joke. It's like, there definitely was one scene. I wish I remember what episode. Oh, no, I we legitimately it believed it. I didn't think they were going to go all out with it. I think they wanted to. I never thought there a million definitely years was they were a going line. to state it. And I can't remember what it was, but there was definitely a line where Asami says something that has a very, like... I can't see that being taken any other way than, you know, she's a lesbian, you know, kind of thing. But, like I said, I mean, it was one of those things where it's like, I, I like we said, we, it would have been nice to see it developed uh, more, but it's yeah. like, but we, we, we decided to in, take this show to make this big step. We live in 21st century in America, we live in 21st century America, and apparently this is as good as we can get. So. Yeah, so it's, I hope it opens up more, I hope more is done with this, and there can be, you know, gay, bi, uh, you don't transsexual, even need the tentacles all that stuff. Like in Japan. I mean, you it's like, tentacle free even. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like, it's, it, though it'd be nice, I mean, a little bit, I just yeah, you something like your seafood, terrible I about myself, <laughs> mm, so, anyway, uh, but, no, it's one of those things where it's like, I, I really hope this opens up a lot, and it's, on the one hand, no, I'm but, really happy people are like, well, isn't this incredible, wasn't that phenomenal finale, and, but, you know what I mean, it's like, I'm kind of like, well, no, okay, from, there's, a, there's gonna be a group, there's gonna be a group of people like us, and we're gonna be a small group who are going to be, this was not the greatest thing on the planet because they didn't do enough. But we realized the reason why they didn't do enough. So I'm not blaming them for that. Yeah, but and I mean, it's still good for that more. And then there's also the group that's just going to be like, I can't believe they, you know, freaking did that. That's so stupid. And like, who cares if they're, you know, and I'm like, I don't think you realize this subset of people. What a big deal this actually is. Mm. Some people are just like, who cares? Don't even talk about it. I'm like, no, this is actually legitimately a really big deal. And the other people that are just like, this is the greatest thing in the world. I'm like, no, we could have gotten a lot more actually, but Nickelodeon, there's no way in hell they would have let it happen. Yeah, so I, I, it, I think I used to be one of those people that was kind of like, well, if you are great, if you're not great, who cares kind of thing. So I would originally kind of be on that side. But again, just after seeing... It's like, that prejudice is still out there, man. You know, it's like, I, I wish I could say, no, it's not. And you kind of think to yourself, well, I don't act this way. So clearly nobody else acts this way. Because I'm like, the representation somebody, of Somebody on my people. Facebook was like, oh my God, I can't believe that this is now. I have to look forward to my kids having to watch like ball torture and BDSM and their cartoons. I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, like, first better, all, better than SpongeBob. <laughs> Are you kidding well, me? Well, first of all, because those two things go so hand in hand. I know, I like a true love story, you know, and freaking like fetishes. Them, obviously, like, all, really all the gay people I know, as soon as I find out they're gay, I'm like, okay, so where's the ball gag? Oh, right here in my pocket. <laughs> and the jokes, and the jokes on you people because they won't need to watch in their cartoons. They can just write about it on the internet. <laughs> Fan fiction. <laughs> Seriously, everybody who freaks out with this, I can't believe they're gonna fifth in a kids cartoon. Kids cartoon, can you believe it? I'm like. They can go online and create their own more horrific worlds <laughs> where Dipper goes to Taco Bell. I can't believe we're in a world where two women love each other. Now go back to your divorced parents that takes up whatever, like 60, 80% of marriages that's nowadays. It. That's <laughs> it, Dad. Drink another scotch. <laughs> <laughs> So, Screw you two women who are in love. <laughs> so, oh, hey, look, mom's popping the Oxycontin again. <laughs> That's true love. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so that that's where I'm coming from. I'm like, it is both not the biggest deal in the world story-wise because I've seen Japanese animes that do this, you know, way more over the top than this, but at the same time, it is really a big deal. And I don't... <sighs> I think they probably had this planned out from about the middle of season two. I would say three. I wouldn't say three. Two. Maybe three. It de well, it depends how far ahead they're writing these. But it just makes me laugh because all... I think the thing that makes me laugh the most is all the people who are against shipping these characters. Why does everybody have to ship? Why did they? Why can't well, they just is, imagine that two characters? That's one of the friends. reasons I didn't talk why about because everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, perv!" Like that's why, what why all you men do, want. It's and like the, ah. funny, the funny thing is, it's almost like the creators read this and they're just like, "Oh, let's uh? fuck with these guys. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's troll all of these." And like, it makes me laugh because like, I, all the people who were so upset about the shipping vanished from my fa my public Facebook overnight. I hadn't seen anything from them. I am just like, where did they go? They were so upset. <laughs> so I, yeah, that just kills me. Well, it's, they sh I'm like, it's like they looked at it and they're just like, oh, so let's see, what do we got going on here? Well, we know where this love story is going. Everybody wants these two characters put together. Man, that's going to create a giant uproar. You know what? I got it. We'll ship ourselves. <laughs> let's do it.
<laughs> well, and the I is, love it. I, it's almost trolling. It, they may be trolling. I don't know. Trolling for a good cause or maybe <laughs> trolling like, for a good cause. I, but it's just like, yeah, I feel like the audience just, the, like half the audience that was against this whole thing just totally got trolled. And for the rest, it was just like, we made their fanfic well, dreams and, come true. Well, and, and what are they going to say? Like, uh, I, I, I'm against the, no, can't really, uh, hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, you're kind of, you're kind of outed, but not sure as what in that case. Um, so, but, okay, so we got that all said, out of the way. Uh, let's talk about the rest of it. Did anything else happen? I forget. <laughs> no, no well, I mean, I just, is... I just kept rewinding that last 10 <laughs> seconds again and again and again. I've got it out of loop now. I'm <laughs> No, uh, the, actually, the funny thing is, going into that wonderful ten seconds I've seen now for three hours straight, um, the rest of the episode I thought was really, really solid. It, it, it was I, a good finale. The um, thing I appreciated most was the teamwork. That took, yes, everybody. Though, I will say, I, I watched it with my wife, and I, I turned to her in the middle of it, and I said, where's Mako? <laughs> like, I noticed for a while there were all these people flying. I was like, what happened to Mako? And then he shows up with Bolin on the inside there, and, and my wife's like, there he is! And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> no, he, he had a good No, he scene, sacrificed. And that was a good sacrifice. Yeah. By having Bolin come back as well to very, get very of return, I mean, Very return of the Jedi. Let's go into the Death Star and blow it up from its mm. evil heart out. <laughs> like, yeah, um, the, um, the animation is great. I love... The water uh, balloon, the, the paint balloons, I thought was... The second he's like, aha, paint! I was like, I got it, I know what they're doing. So I thought that was a great idea. But I also like that she had a means of getting rid of that whatever, the little window washer or whatever that was. Damn it, um, windshield wipers. She thought of everything. <laughs> so, no, I, I thought it was, um, like I said, it seemed to get bigger and bigger. And oh, it's like, man, redemption for Asami's dad. Yes. Oh, God, you know, that when was he a came great in. great scene. No, no, when he came in, like I said, I love a show that can make me gasp. And I did actually go, oh, like, like in a good way, like, oh, it's so good to see him again. And it's like, now, of course, immediately after he came back and we're getting along, I'm like, dead. <laughs> you are so gone. <laughs> you know, Asami, but still we will ride scene. together, but please paint the target on my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I thought that was a great scene. I, I do have to say this, though. Like, I like, the, the technology is kind of cool. It's, to me, it's very, it got kind of steampunkish in this episode in particular. Um, it's always been kind of steampunk, but in this one, like, those hummingbird craft were very steampunk, but it, it made me laugh because I'm just like, yes, this is a brilliant scientific idea. Let's expend so much effing energy to make a couple of wings go... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this makes no sense. There's got to be other ways around. But I, I looked at it, and I'm like, it looks really cool. Yeah. It doesn't really make any sense, but... <laughs> yeah, um, I'm like, or how about a jet engine? <laughs> so, like, now, now, you want to know the really funny thing? Before the Korra and Asami thing, I was really debating whether or not I wanted to see Varric and Julie together. Um, because I saw it, and it's like, okay, it's not like you can't see it happen, but on the other hand, I was sort of like, was this more of a partnership? I mean, they did have, like, a lot in common. Obviously, they worked with each I other. But it's like, both, if it is, yeah. it's kind of an abusive relationship. I mean, he comes around. But it's like, is that really the best basis the for... The funny thing is, I mean, for everybody who's saying, like, Korra and Asami felt forced, I probably felt the Julian Varric thing felt a little more forced, just because I got the impression throughout the entire series that both of them were asexual beings. <laughs> like, I wasn't... Yeah, convinced. that is kind of true. You never associate romance with them. Really. It was like two plants interacting. I never saw any real romance. Like Yeah, so I was... Uh, Julie, recently, they were kind of kicking it in, but I'm like... Yeah, I guess I just look at it like, why does she... I get why she would be impressed by his idiot savant genius, or maybe want to be his partner, but I was like, why does she love him? The only thing uh, I can figure is, like, she sees, like, quote-unquote, the good in him, because he does come around and stuff like that, but, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of the same and way. And she did and take him calluses and all. I, I, I will say, if it was, it, not that there's no comedy, it clearly is, but, like, that wedding... Like, they show the wedding in great detail, and I'm thinking, like, okay, no, they're meant to show, like, they're really love. This is not just a joke. Like, they're legitimately in love. And and there's a bunch of jokes thrown in, but it's supposed to be, like, a real thing. So I was kind of like, yeah, okay, I guess. Like, I'm not anti that, but at the same time, I was like, does it... I'm, I'm, just, waiting, it I, I'm just waiting that now that the creators have, like, confirmed that this is real, Korasami, um... 
Now the fanfic writers are going to have to ship something else. So they're going to try to ship maybe Julie, Julie and, Cora, and Cora and make it and make it this big love triangle and like this soap opera and <laughs> a love square or whatever. Um, love love dodecagon. <laughs> Everybody so, gets involved by the end. So yeah, and and uh, like I said, I can't get. Like, I can't get too angry at, like, you know, this romance coming out of nowhere and not, like, seeing it develop more. Because, like, you know, they dicked us around with Zuko's mom, you know, and they eventually came around the comics and stuff. So it's like, I'm kind of thinking to myself, well, yeah, I'd like to see these two go on an adventure together, develop more. And, you know, it's obviously not doing any more shows. So it's like, yeah, get working on that comic. It's like, I, I'm not against a relationship with them. I very much like to see it, but I like to see it developed. You know, oh, I like to see it really put together. And redemption for Bolin. Like, this was a great Bolin episode. He, like, the, the lava, like, sucking the uh, robot into the... Uh... I like, this and the last season I thought were both great... They were good Bolin seasons, honestly. Yeah. I, I thought he really came through. Bolin had a lot of great moments, you know, getting the people out, you know, saving Mako at the end. Like, yeah, I'm just like, good. Bolin finally gets his dues. Yeah, like, he really know. balances out. Like, he, he's still funny, but he, like, Lava really comes represent. Through. Yeah. So, um, um, I'm trying to think what else. I mean, it's like... I like... Okay, I'll tell you what I like. I like the fact that the only way Korra goes into the Avatar state this time around is to save a life and not take it. Yeah, actually, I like that too. Because I was sort of saying, like, what? There's a couple times she could go into the Avatar state. Why doesn't no, she? She and only I does really it to save Kuvira's life. Mm hmm. And I, I will Which, say, to, the talk bringing Kuvira around, it's like, come on, you got mommy issues and, and identity issues. It's just, oh, all right. And she's like, but I turn myself in. And nobody's like, you know, okay, well, justice is here. It's like, you're that. so fucking gonna pay. <laughs> we'll motherfucking kill you. Which, I mean, it's like, I, I, understandable. I mean. <laughs> yeah, it, it was I a little weird. Would, yeah, that was but a little weird. The face she turned over so quickly, it's kind of like, I don't know, would... Would Hitler turn over so quickly with Hussein? I'm sorry. I was just having some fun. I was going to say with Hussein, but I guess he did, like, as soon as they had the guns on and they found him. He's just like, you know, I'm willing to compromise. I'm willing oh, to no, negotiate. We know, we know Hitler wouldn't have changed that fast. He would just kill himself. Yeah. That's what he did. <laughs> so, yeah, so maybe Kavira obviously took the higher road, I Fuck, guess. you can't think a joke. <laughs> He's We're funny. over to just a big joke. He's very funny. <laughs> Too soon, too soon. So, um, yeah, uh, a, a really good finale. Um, I, I think we've pretty much gone into as much detail as we can about the uh, Another the spirit ending. portal. I did love Tenzin's observation. It's like, Cora, you've done more in, like, four seasons of the show than Aang did in, like, his entire life. Like, we now got, like... That's actually a totally legit point. portals active. And this is, yeah, and everybody's like, oh, she's not as good as Aang. I'm like, well, she got a lot more accomplished. Yeah, I mean, let's really look at what she did for the world. I mean, it's like... Yeah, yeah I know, I get Aang it. Aang saved like, it, fair people, enough, but... Yeah, yeah people just... Like, saved it from the fire, and that's fine. She stopped, like, four villains. Yeah, for Aang got, doing. like, one. Yeah, well, and it's like, okay, granted, it was a big one. It was the yeah. world, but it's like... when yeah, there was... Like, Azula and her circus troop, but you know it, it was still mostly one. No, but it's like yeah, with uh, with Korra, it's like when he said that, I'm like, yeah, that's a really good point. I think of all the portals that opened up, the spirit world and, and the human and, world. And had to do it with inside information from the villain's own kid. So, <laughs> so I, I, I thought that was a very legit point. I mean, anyway, it's like, oh, she's not as good. It's like, uh, well, <laughs> no fucking turtles. <laughs> what? The turtle, the. Oh, I thought. I, th I was thinking like Ninja Turtles for some reason. I'm like, it's a lion turtle, Rob. You have to be more clear. I know no they all look like fucking lion you. turtles. Lurtles. <sighs> it's coffee. early in the morning. I need coffee. <laughs> so, okay. We're going to go get some coffee. That is the last core vlog. Uh, uh, as far as we know, it was not good, I don't know. What do you think of the whole show all together? Uh, like the whole show? Yeah. And everything? Uh, I really liked it. I think it's very clear they did not have or were given a plan for the whole thing. No. But for what they had to do and get through, there's obviously bumps, uh, some much more noticeable than others, but it's like, it's an impressive show. Uh, and I, I don't like it as much as Avatar, but there are points that I do like just as much, if not a little bit more Like than a Avatar. good wine, it aged better over time. Yeah, like, like it just... while they were making it, though. <laughs> yeah, it... <sighs> I, I, the first season I still stand by is for what it was, and like, you have one shot at this, one season, and you're done. I thought it was fine. Like, uh, the ending, the last five minutes could have been better, but I thought it was a really strong season, and then, yeah, Nickelodeon's dicking it around, 
The like, second season, had, I still stand by, has we the had, best characters, though, yeah, outside of the villain. We had three seasons of Nickelodeon dicking them around, and I'm amazed it came out as well as it did. I'm actually yeah. blown away that these guys kept it together, despite all the corporate, you know, tooling, you know, trying to destroy it. So, and yeah, it was a bumpy ride. I think second season was definitely weakest as they were trying to rewrite this from the ground up. Seems like second season to me probably should have been the first. And you but like I said, but second season first. also has, in my opinion, like the most memorable people. So it's like, I can't be that angry. It has like one of the most memorable climaxes too. You know, it's like, and, and the origin story. So it's like as bumpy See, as the second season of, was, it has some of the most memorable stuff. I don't remember Unalak that well. I, I no, no, remember, not, not, not the villain. I'm talking about the twins. I'm talking about Varric and I, Julie. Yeah, I'm talking about I remember the, the twins. The I remember, yeah, but Varric and Julie were throughout the whole thing. So No, they weren't in the first season. No, I mean, okay, from, but... From second season on. That's what I'm saying. Second season introduced, like, well, it introduced the, the, the best characters. But the story itself was also a train wreck. <laughs> like, it yes. just went. <laughs> and it came together very nicely at the end. And then, yeah, I'd say third season, by third season, they were getting it together. Or like, okay, I think we know where we're going with this. And fourth season, I just think, this is about as close as Pitch Perfect as I think it gets. Like, this, yeah, this my is favorite probably the best season. season. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, mine too. And also where they did the most with Korra herself. Like, uh, everything we had talked about, where you need consequences for her actions, you need her to go through a spiritual journey and this and that. They did it, and they did it well. So, way to, way to go out on top, despite yeah, they're, they're everything Nickelodeon has done to stop them from doing it. Way to go out on top. <laughs> and, and you got the first bisexual main character in a kid show. So, I mean, it's like, yeah. to, to come out I mean, on top and, like, make Moscow history. Moscow is amazing. Oh, we're talking about Korra, sorry. <laughs> well, he could be, who knows? Um, but, no, the fact that they, not only do they come out on top, but they also pretty much make history with this show that's wonderful. You know, it's just, hats off, man. You know, nicely done. So, yeah. I enjoyed it. I'm, I'm glad it's done. I feel like at four yeah. seasons, we've had our fill. Well, and no break in between the third and fourth. It just went right I think that's part it. of it. I'm like, I, don't, I didn't feel exhausted after Avatar, uh, the original show. This, this one, I'm like... I'm getting a little fatigue here, and I don't think that's on the creators. I think that's on the fact that, like, they've just, there was no break, so I couldn't, like, take a breather, and I was like, oh, my God, we're still going with this. So, but it, 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 it definitely It's good was to be amazing. done, but I'm really glad that, yeah, we, and, we got through it all and enjoyed it. And um, I think, too, it also made me a little fatigued just because it was so suspenseful, particularly at the end. Like, I didn't realize that during the month, the, uh, robot fight I was actually gritting my teeth a bit until I like sort of like yawned and I'm like oh I'm like, <laughs> it's like this is really intense I did the, the the one scene I actually liked in the Hobbit was when Smog attacks the city mm. I did the, the same thing Hobbit. my wife yeah my wife was just like you're squeezing my hand really hard I'm like oh I'm like <laughs> it, it just was like such an intense scene I'm just like yeah yeah <laughs> so so cool, very cool. good. Uh, in terms of our vlog shows, we're we're obviously doing Gravity Falls. After we're that, like filming those right after this. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, after that, we're not actively looking. Uh, kind of like what we said with the last. I think we should time. do like, over if something the, comes up. We'll do it. But... I think uh, I do. We're gonna do the Gravity Falls shorts. Okay, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, enough people keep asking us. I say we do that, and uh, they're short, obviously. So why not? Yeah, <laughs> we'll we'll fill in some of the gaps with that. And I think we should do over the garden wall at some point. <laughs> yeah, actually, I haven't seen that yet, but everyone's telling me it's really good. But that's like a movie, right? It's like eight episodes, so it's a mini. But it's something we could toss off quickly. Oh, okay. So. Okay, I, I didn't know it was like an eight-episode thing. I, I, I started out every morning like... No, like, everyone's telling me to review it. You like Gravity Falls? Dude, <laughs> dude! I'm like, okay, okay, <laughs> leave me alone. It's Christmas. <laughs> so, and I need coffee. So, cool, cool. We're going to get some coffee, and uh, we'll see you next vlog. Take care. Cheers. Appa, did you know she was by? I had my thoughts. By the way, I'm by. Get to your fan fiction.